Hello, how are you all? I, Subhi, your mathematics teacher, welcomes you all for your online classes of your class 5th subject mathematics. Today we are going to start our new topic, our chapter 3, shapes and pattern. So, to begin our chapter, our first topic is symmetry. Here we are going to understand about the concept of symmetry and how to find line of symmetry and number of lines of symmetry in different objects. So, here a question for you. What do you mean by symmetry? Do any one of you know about it? Okay, let me help you all in finding about the concept of symmetry. So, symmetry means if we take any object and we draw imaginary line between the object. So, we should draw the imaginary line in a way the one part of the object needs to be the exact copy of the other part. Like let's take different examples. So, one part of the object needs to be the mirror image of the other part. Like let's take in this first alphabet A. Here is our alphabet A. So first I will just fold the alphabet A into two equal parts. So let's begin to fold it. I am folding it in horizontal way. So is the one part overlapping with the other part? No, we are not finding the same. So let's fold it in vertical way. Yes, we found that the one part of the alphabet A is overlapping with the other part of the alphabet A. A. So here we can check it using our mirror also. Like we can find that if I am drawing taking half of the alphabet A, its mirror image we are getting it in mirror. Like the other part we are able to see the alphabet A. So here we can say that A is a symmetrical object or we can say A is a symmetrical letter. And it has one line of symmetry which is vertical. So here we need to understand that the line of symmetry can be vertical, horizontal or slanting way also. Slant line or it can be in a diagonal way also. Here is our next letter which is M. Let's fold it along a diagonal way. Let's try. Is it overlapping? No, it is not overlapping. So let's fold it in horizontal way. Is the letter overlapping into two equal parts and finding the mirror image? No. So let's fold it in vertical way. So when I fold it in vertical way, we are finding that the letter is overlapping with the other part. We can also find it using our mirror. That is our answer correct or not? So here is our mirror. Let's find it. I have only, I have hidden half of the part of letter M. And let's check in mirror. Is it coming the same? So I hope you all would be able to see about it. Okay. So our letter M has one line of symmetry which is vertical. Let's take our other letter which is our letter S. Do you think letter S has a line of symmetry? Let's try. Let's try it in horizontal way. Is it coming? Is it overlapping each other? No, it is not. So let's try in vertical way. Is it overlapping each other? No. In diagonal way? No. If you say that it has horizontal line of symmetry. Let's check. We are not finding S because the letter we are finding is not the exact copy. It is just a mirror image and which is becoming a opposite 3. So S is not a symmetrical letter. So S has no line of symmetry or we can say it has zero line of symmetry. Let's take our other letter which is P. Do you think P will have any line of symmetry? Let's fold it. Oh, from horizontal way, it's not overlapping. The two parts are not overlapping each other. So, they are not, the first part is not the mirror image of other part. So, let's take 
other one way. Vertical way, is it overlapping? No, it's not overlapping here also. So the letter P also has no line of symmetry or we can say zero line of symmetry. Now after these alphabets, we are here to discuss about our some shapes. Let's take our first shape which is a square. So do you know what is a square? Yeah, square is a shape or we can say a polygon which is made from line segment. It has four sides and all the four sides are equal in its length. So let's find the line of symmetry in our shape square. So to find it, let's fold it. Yes, we have folded it and we are finding that the two parts are equal in its shape. So the dotted line which is a horizontal line is the first line of symmetry. Let's check the shape has more than one line of symmetry or not. Let's fold it in vertical way. So we found that again the two parts are overlapping each other. So it shows that the shape has one more line of symmetry which is a vertical. Let's draw it using our scale and our marker and like this. So this is a line of symmetry. Let's check. Is it having more than one more two lines of symmetry? Let's check it in diagonal way. So here also we found that the two parts are overlapping each other. So it has one more line of symmetry. So let's make it using with the help of our scale and sketch pen. So let's check, is it having one more? Again it's overlapping. So here we found that a square has four lines of symmetries like one, two, three and four. Now take our rectangle. Yes, rectangle is also a polygon which has four line segments but its opposite sides are equal like this length is equal to this opposite length and this side breadth is equal to opposite side breadth. Now let's find line of symmetry in our rectangle. Yes, when we fold it, the two parts are overlapping each other in horizontal way. So here is the first line of symmetry. Now let's fold it in vertical way. It has one more line of symmetry in vertical way. Okay, we found two line of symmetries are there. Let's fold it in diagonal way. If I am folding it in diagonal way, do I am finding that two parts are overlapping each other? I don't think so. The two parts are overlapping. Do you think so? Yes, it is not overlapping each other. So this is not a line of symmetry. Let's fold it along its other corners. So again, it is not overlapping through this way also. So, we found that the rectangle has only two lines of symmetries. So, in this rectangle, one is vertical line and one is horizontal line. Here is our next topic to find line of symmetry in triangle. Here we have three types of triangle. The first type of triangle is this, when all the sides have different lengths. So, this is a scalene triangle. Now, the second triangle is in which two sides are of equal length. So this is isosceles triangle and the third triangle which is equilateral triangle when all the three sides are equal. So let's check it one by one. So let's find line of symmetry in this first triangle in which all the sides are of equal different lengths. So it is not a line of symmetry because it's not overlapping from the first corner. Let's check from the other corner. Is it overlapping? So it is not overlapping from the other corner also. And in this third one, let's check it. 
is the part two parts overlapping are the two parts overlapping each other no it is not so here we found that our first triangle which is scalene triangle has zero line of symmetry now it's our isosceles triangle in which our first and second two sides are of equal length and the third side has different length so let's fold it along in horizontal way is it overlapping the two parts are overlapping no so let's fold it in vertical way yes so we found that our isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry which is vertical now our next triangle is equilateral triangle so let's fold it along its all the three corners so if i folded it along the first corner yes we are finding that it's overlapping the two parts are overlapping each other now let's fold it along the next corner so we again found that the two parts are again overlapping each other let's fold it around the third corner we are again able to find that here is also a line of symmetry so in our equilateral triangle so it has three lines of symmetries we can just find it 1 2 and 3 so a triangle can have 0 1 or 3 line of symmetries depending on its type now let's take our circle let's check symmetry in circle so as you know here this the line this is known as the diameter as you have studied in your earlier classes as well so when i folded it the first part is overlapping with the other part if you want you can check it in mirror as well so <laughs> my mirror is small but the shape is bigger no problem so here it is overlapping so this is our first line of symmetry or if i fold it in vertical way it is again overlapping or if i fold it in any other way it is overlapping so through this we can find that a circle can have infinite diameters as we all know so it has infinite line of symmetries as well infinite line of symmetry a circle is having now let's understand about our regular polygons regular polygons are those first you can just see here it is a pentagon a regular polygon in which all sides or three or more than three sides are having equal length or we can say it's all the angles inside angles are of equal degree let's find number of lines of symmetries in this regular polygon which is pentagon so let's fold along its all the corners so i am folding it you can so in our pentagon we have five lines of symmetry as i have folded it along five of its corners and we can check in our hexagon as well x hexagon has number of side 6 so it has six lines of symmetries as i have folded it in this way so we should understand one rule for number of lines of symmetries in regular polygons so how many number of sides does the shape is having that is the number of lines of symmetries it can have so pentagon has five sides so it has five lines of symmetries hexagon has six sides so it has six lines of symmetries we can check for other shapes as well so please check the please check the pdf file various questions are given related to our exercise and this topic symmetry and finding line of symmetries and don't forget to like and subscribe my video to get more notifications and updates and viewers kindly mention your name class and section in the comment section thank you